Hi, I'm Sarah and welcome to Rich Textures Crochet on YouTube. Let's crochet something beautiful today. Hello everyone and welcome to week five of the Great Canadian Landscapes Crochet Along. Today we are going to be crocheting our way across the province of Quebec. And this is the design that I have chosen for this week. It is a very subtle texture and I chose it because it kind of reminds me of uh, the trees that you find covering the mountains and the hills there as well as the water. Quebec has uh, one of the largest freshwater reserves in all of Canada. And uh, so that's what this panel today reminds me of. For your panel, you are going to need a 55 millimeter crochet hook along with your worsted weight yarn. For a complete list of materials for your project, you can head on over to my blog at richtexturescrochet.com and there you will find the introduction and materials as along with all of the written patterns and video tutorials for the crochet along this far. So let us get started and today I will show you how to work this beautiful uh, fan stitch panel. So for this tutorial today I am going to be working a small swatch of the pattern that will be featured in this square. Now if you are also planning on changing the size of your square, whether you're making it smaller or larger, the multiple of chains that you are going to need for your starting chain is a multiple of eight stitches plus two at the end. Okay, so a multiple of eight plus two. Today I will be working a chain of 26, so just giving you a small uh, sample of the pattern. While you're here, please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, which I like to update weekly with uh, patterns and stitch tutorials, and of course this crochet along. So I'm going to begin by chain chaining 26 stitches. If you are following along with the pattern, you will begin by chaining 194 chains. Again, the free written instructions for this pattern can be found for free on my blog, all linked below in the notes of this video. So I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, and 26. So 26 chains is a multiple of 8 plus 2. Then what you're going to do is for row 1, you are going to single crochet in the second chain from hook, which is this chain right here. Single crochet in the second chain from hook. Then you will skip the next three chains. 1, 2, 3, and you will work a fan stitch in the next chain. To work your fan stitch, you are going to work um, basically uh, five double crochet stitches and chain ones all in the same stitch. So how you're going to do that is you're going to work one double crochet, chain one, and you're going to repeat that for a total of four times. So that was once, then in the same stitch, double crochet, chain one, so that's two, same stitch, double crochet, chain one is three, and double crochet, chain one is four. You will then complete your fan stitch by working one final double crochet stitch in the same stitch. And that is your fan stitch. Next, you will skip the next three chains, one, two, three, and you will single crochet in the next stitch. Now you will repeat that all the way across. Skip three chains, one, two, three, in the next chain, work one fan, double crochet, chain one, double crochet, chain one, 
double crochet, chain one, double crochet, chain one, and then one final double crochet in the same stitch. Your fan stitch is made. You will then skip three chains, one, two, three, and single crochet in the next stitch. And repeat. Skip three, one, two, three, fan in the next stitch. And then you will missed my chain one. Once you reach the end of your chain, when you have four remaining chains left, you will simply skip the three and single crochet in that final chain. That is row one. For row two, you are going to chain three and turn your work one, two, three, and turn your work. This chain three will always count as a double crochet, so you will always work in this chain three in the top of your turning chain. Then what you're going to do after you chain three, you are going to back post double crochet around the second double crochet of the next fan. So this is our fan stitch here. You can see this is the first double crochet, this is the second. So to work your back post double crochet, you're going to yarn over, you're going to insert your hook from the back of your work, up around the front, around the post of the stitch indicated, and then back through to the back of your work. You're going to yarn over and then draw up a loop, yarn over and pull through two loops, yarn over and pull through two loops. So you can see that that's pushing the top of that stitch forward. So this is where your texture is going to appear. That's your back post double crochet. You will then chain two, work one single crochet in the next double crochet in the top, chain two, and again, back post double crochet around the next double crochet in your fan. So insert your hook from the back of your work up to the front, around the post of that stitch, and then back. Yarn over and drop a loop. Yarn over, pull through two loops, and yarn over and pull through two loops. Then once you come to this single crochet that's here in between your two fans, you're simply going to work one double crochet in the single crochet. Just like that. Next, you are going to repeat. So you're going to skip the first double crochet in your next fan then complete one back post double crochet around the, the second double crochet in your fan. Chain two, single crochet in the top of the next double crochet, chain two, and back post double crochet around the next double crochet in your fan. Then in the next single crochet, work one double crochet stitch and repeat for your next fan. Back post double crochet around the second double crochet in your fan. Chain two, single crochet in the top of the next double crochet. Chain two and back post double crochet around the post of the next double crochet in your fan. And then once you come to the end of your uh, work, 
you are simply going to end uh, to the end of your row you're simply going to end with one double crochet stitch in that final single crochet that's it there and you can see that you have this texture kind of starting to pop out and it will become more apparent as you continue to work um, your way across the pattern for row three you're going to turn your work and you're going to chain four. Your chain four at the beginning of this row will count as one double crochet and a chain one stitch. Next, in the base of this same chain four, so this is your chain four, in the base of that chain four, you are going to work one double crochet, chain one, and then double crochet. So all of that is worked in the base of your chain four stitch. You will next single crochet in the next single crochet. You will skip your next stitch and you will work a fan in the top of the next double crochet. So we're going to skip this next back post double crochet. We're going to work our fan in the top of this double crochet here. You remember to work your fan, going to double crochet, chain one four times. And then end with one more double crochet on the same stitch. Next, you will single crochet in the top of the next single crochet. Skip the next stitch and work a fan in the next double crochet. You will repeat this pattern all the way across to the very end of your row. Single crochet in the top of the next single crochet. When you come to the end of your work, in the top of your turning chain, you will end with a double crochet, chain one twice. So in the top of that turning chain, at the very end of your row, you'll work one double crochet, chain one, double crochet, chain one, and then one final double crochet in the same stitch. And that is the end of row three. For row four, turn your work and chain one. Next, you will single crochet in the top of the first double crochet. chain two, back post double crochet around the next double crochet. So to work your back post, insert your hook from the back to the front to the back, yarn over, drop your loop, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops. Then you will double crochet in the next single crochet stitch. Next, back post double crochet around the second double crochet in your fan. Chain two, single crochet in the top of the next double crochet. Chain two, back post double crochet around the post of the next stitch. double crochet in the next single crochet stitch and repeat. Back post double crochet around the second, chain two, single crochet in the top of the next double crochet, chain two, back post double crochet around the next, and double crochet in the next single crochet. 
So you will repeat that all the way across to the end of your work. When you come to the end, you will have your chain four and your double crochet. You're going to work one back post double crochet, stitch around that double crochet, the second one. You will chain two, and then you will work a single crochet in what would have been the top of the double crochet, so the chain three of that turning chain of chain four, that chain four turning chain. <laughs> So one single crochet. And that is the end of row four. For row five, you will chain one and turn, or turn and chain one. You're going to single crochet in the first stitch. Skip the next stitch, which is your back post double crochet, and work one fan in the top of the next double crochet. Single crochet in the next single crochet and fan in the next uh, skip the next back post double crochet and fan in the next double crochet. You will repeat that all the way across your work. Single crochet in the top of the next single crochet and fan in the top of the next double crochet. When you come to your final single crochet, at the end of your row, you will single crochet in the top of that stitch and you will have completed row five. I'll just turn my work over so you can see the front here and you can see that it is starting to pull together and as you continue to work you will see this kind of arching fan uh, pattern coming out more and more. Now you are going to continue to repeat rows two until five, all the way until your work from the very beginning measures about nine inches or to the desired length uh, that you're working for your pattern. So for mine, it was nine inches. Then you are going to work a simple single crochet edging, the same single crochet edging that you've been working around each of these panels, the written instructions for which can be found on my blog which is linked in the video notes here before uh, at the bottom. So thank you so much again for joining me on this crochet journey across Canada. Happy crocheting! Bye!